Hey there everyone, it's Aish here, back again with another video and welcome to another app in React Native series. Yes, I know a lot of you are not following yet, only a handful of people are following and this shows the dedication that how much you are committed towards learning the React Native. When everybody says, hey, content is free on YouTube, the dedication is not free on YouTube and you are one dedicated person, so I'm happy for you. In this video, I'll show you that what we are about to build next, what we're going to learn. A lot of things are here in, in, in this app to learn. And let me also warn you, a lot of people will say, this is too basic. Why are you learning this? But let me tell you, if you're learning React or React Native or Flutter or Angular and you are not building this simple app, you're missing out something in your portfolio. You should not do that. So let me show you. This is the classic uh, tic-tac-toe app. Uh, this is the most basic, the most amazing, helps you to not only understand some of the foundation about the screen and the UI, but also some strong foundation in logical concept that how the logics are being designed and how much code it takes to write such logic. I also have a video on my YouTube channel which explains you that how these tic-tac-toe apps logics are built. So you can refer that, but I'll give you enough chance in this app that you can go ahead and build it before me. I would be really, really happy to see that somebody is actually taking an effort and is building it and is sharing the experience of building the app on your own on Hashnode, who is the sponsor of this entire series as well. So this is a simple app. At the top, it says whose turn it is, a really simple bar that we have created. Then we have this grid, which has, of course, a three by three grid, which has the zeros and all turns. We also have a button to reload the game. You can reload it at any point of time and you can simply click on it. The changes that, hey, now it's X's turn, which obviously it is. You can click on this, then it's O's turn. And then obviously you click up here and then wherever the games is being won, it actually decides that, hey, who has won the game, either it's circle or the axis. And you can just go ahead and start the new game. Now, there's a lot of things, a lot of logical learning in this app, which you should be focusing on. But I'll give you a great head start that use this one. There is no too much of customized assets or icons that is being used in this app. I would be super, super happy that if you don't watch the next few videos and before that, you at least give it a try that, hey, I tried to build this app maybe halfway around or maybe just the UI I was able to build. At least give it a try. Don't just fall into the tutorial hell. That's what I'm saying, being making these tutorials. Still, I'm saying that try it yourself. That is the best way to learn. In the next upcoming videos, I'll set up this and I'll show you that how we can build this app. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.